Hello everyone, this is Namrata. Hope you all are doing good and staying safe. In today's video session, we are going to cover another topic in Salesforce, which is summer 22 release feature, which is test flow. So this is a beta feature. Here is the agenda for today's session. We are going to cover what is test flow. How can you create a test for your flows that you have followed by our demo? Let's understand why do we need this uh, test flow? Now consider in an organization, we may have a lot of people working on a single flow, right? So if you are working on a flow, there may be chances that another team member can also work on the same flow wherein he or she can go ahead and modify the existing logic or they can add uh, the logics to the uh, flow that we have already created in the system. With, with the help of this test flows, you can verify whether your business logic remain as is and has no impact to the changes made by somebody else. So you can make use of this test flow a functionality, which is a beta feature release as a part of the summer 22. Using this uh, feature, you can test your flows without writing a piece of uh, code. It is just you have to add some configurations. And when you add those configurations, you will be able to test your flows um, and ensure that uh, whatever the changes uh, somebody else is making on it, it is not impacting the uh, business logic or uh, the logic remain as is. So you can create a test flow when you create a flow and you can only create a test flow after you save the flow or before you make any changes to your flow. So this is one of the powerful way to test your flows without writing any extra uh, code. So flows are getting better every release and a lot of new features are being added to the flow. So this is one of the um, um, uh, important feature which is provided by the uh, Salesforce as a part of the summer 22 release. So let's log in into our Salesforce uh, Summer 22 Developer Org, wherein we will try to make use of the existing flow that we have currently. So I have a record trigger flow that I have created. So what is the business uh, use cases? Whenever you have a case which is created, if a case is created with, a, with uh, the status or the priority as high, then you would want the escalated feeds to be automatically selected. So this is a very simple business use case and we have created a flow for that. Now we will see how can you make use of this test flow within the flow that we have built it. Okay, so now let us log in into our Salesforce developer org, which is summer 22. So this is my summer 22 developer org. So here you can see, right? I have this record trigger flow, which I've created. So whatever the business logic that I have uh, mentioned earlier, this is what is the business logic. So it is a record trigger flow. It is on the case object, right? And I have updated it as a uh, record is updated or created. That is the condition. When do you want the flow to trigger? Now I'm setting the entry conditions. It is, as I mentioned, right? If at all the priority of a case which is raised is high, then update when to run the flow for the updated records. Every time a record is updated and meets the criteria or only when a record is updated to meet the criteria. So whenever you have this, I want the ease escalated field to be enabled, checked by default. So what is that you wanted to optimize the flow for? Are you, is it for fast field updates? or is it after you, this is more flexible, uh, some actions are being performed. So this is what I wanted to make use of it. Click on done. So here I have updated, use the case record that is triggered and have updated it as if update the specific field to true. So this is a very basic, simple flow that I have created called as a record trigger flow. And um, here you can see that it is not enabled, right? Click, let's quickly save it. Now, when you save it, you will be able to see that view test beta. This button is enabled. Now, when you try to click on this particular button, it will ask me, this flow has no test. 
when you create test for your flows, the test will be listed here. So click on create. So this is how you create your test flows. So here you will set the test details. Then the second is you will set initial triggering record. What is the record that you would like to uh, test this particular flow? Then you set the assertions. So I have already created a flow to save the time. So this is what is the flow. So this is, this is the test flow that I have created. So let's try to view what all conditions I have updated. So here I have just given the label as case. Then the API name is auto-populated. Here I'm setting the condition. So whether when do you want this test flow to run, whether it is upon the created or it is upon the updated. So I just want it upon created. Once I update it, let's save it as case one. Click on save. Then you will also have to update the set initial record. So all these three uh, criteria has to be updated. So once first you set the details, you set the path here. Then here you update the record, set initial triggering record. So as it says here, set the initial value of the record that triggers the test. If you convert the debug run to a test, the values are set from debug runs triggering record. After the test finishes, all the transactions are rolled back and records are not saved. Okay, so this is something which you have to remember because this is just, you are trying to test your flows to ensure that your business logic is remain as is and there is no impact, uh, uh, there is no impact to the changes made by somebody else. So in that specific scenario, we can make use of this test flow and also it will help you to know whether your test is, uh, whatever the flows that you have created is working as expected or not. So let us try to create a flow here. Sorry, click create a flow a record here. So here either you can choose any of the records that are existing in the system or you can create for the testing purpose. So here I'm using the priority field as high and selecting some concepts, some um, uh, cell, uh, uh, fields here. Then click on save. Once you save it, you will have to set the assertions. So as I was mentioning, right, all of these three are mandatory. So once you set this one, you have to set the triggering record. And then this is the third place wherein you have to set the assertion. So this is where it will let me know whether my test is pass or failure. So you will be adding some assertions as per your business need, as per um, um, you know, some test scenarios, you can go ahead and add the assertion. So here it says to test a flow, set the conditions and custom failure messages for each assertion. At runtime, the test checks all of its assertions. If all the conditions for each assertion evaluate you true, the assertion passes. If any, if one of the condition of the assertion evaluates to fall, the assertion and the test run fail. So if you have multiple assertions, so you have to ensure that you are writing down your assertions as per your test scenarios. If one of the assertion is failing, the test will remain fail. If a failure occurs for an assertion during the test run, the custom failure message appears in the test run details. So here for our demo, I have just here, you see update escalate record. So this update escalate record is the value of this particular field here. You see update escalate. So this is the API name. So when I'm trying to edit the test in the assertions, it will, I can choose the record. And here, if the evaluation is equal to true, that is if, if everything is working fine, if uh, the escalated field is true, it I need to get the message saying that field is updated successfully. Likewise, as per your business um, uh, test case, you can add the assertions. Uh, but in our uh, since our business use case is very simple, I'm just going and adding a single 
assertion here. Once it is updated, you can just write down your failure messages. Fail is updated successfully. Great, something like this. Congrats. You know, field is updated successfully. Click on save. Once you save it, once all of these uh, three places you have updated, then you can click on save. Now you can view the test. Here you can see, right? It is coming as label one. Who has created? When was it updated? When was it last run? Earlier fail was success. Now, how can you run your test? So as soon as you open it, you can see that here. If you want to edit it, you can directly come to the edit. You can edit your test, right? If you want to delete the test, you can very well go ahead and delete it. If you want to run the specific test, you can click on run test and view the details. Once you run the test, what will happen as mentioned in this uh, scenario, right? The records gets created into the system, but those records will not be uh, saved as it is a test record. So those records will not be available once your test is completed successfully. Click on view run, view test and view details. So here you see, here you can see test run details. It is giving me the assertion since I have just have one assertion, it is giving me pass because the record got created successfully. And since I have updated the priority of the record as high, the ease escalated field is checked automatically. That is what it is saying equals to true condition evaluation equals to true. So this is the ass uh, assertions. So if at all you are having multiple assertions, all the assertions will be updated here. And if you have any of the assertions which is failed, then this entire test flow will be, it is the status of it will be showing it as failed. Now let's go to all details, wherein it will let us know how the interview started, you know, it is giving me this record. What and all are the conditions that is being triggered? The triggering record made the conditions. Priority equals to high. All conditions are met. Then what are we setting? Once the conditions are met, we are updating the records. As it says, update escalate field. So here, when you drill down, it gives me escalated is equal to true. Then you see here, right? I've updated these SFDC one stop, failure is in complex, all this. And then here you can see case it is, hey, case number is this one. However, if you were try to check for this specific record, this record will not be there. And it says created date, so and so, all the record. Then the record is ready to be updated when the interview finished. So that's how the record gets, I mean, it, uh, whatever the record that we have provided in our test flow, the record got created successfully and executed successfully. And the field is updated as per the criteria. Here assertion, it is clearly defining me that the assertion is passed. So this is how you can view your test. What and all are the assertions that you have updated in your uh, uh, test, you can click on the edit test if you want to edit it. If you want to verify all of your tests, you can go here. You can see that, okay, this test is passed. Now, if you wanted to create anything else, you can very well go ahead and create a new test. So you can create a test according to your business um, use cases, how many tests you would like to create. Likewise, you have somebody else, right? Um, your fellow colleague, he can also come to the same particular flow if at all he's working on it. He can come and create his own test flow and he can verify whether the business logic is remain as is on or, or it is going to have some uh, issues with whatever the changes have been implemented by somebody else. So likewise, you can make use of this test flow. So let's uh, go back here. Now let us, um, because the changes are done, right? So what we will do is let us try to create a case and verify whether our 
whatever the flow that we have created, it is working fine or not, okay? So here I'm choosing the account, okay? Case origin as phone. I'm setting the priority as high, creating a high priority case. Okay, case reason, I'm setting it as complex functionality and click on save. Let's see whether my case uh, is escalated, is updated to true or not. You see here, this card updated. So that means whatever the flow that I have created, it is working as expected. So this is what is the beauty of your test flows, which will help you to verify your business logic and uh, whoever, I mean, multi, if multiple people are involved in modifying your same, your flow, multiple, uh, your colleagues can go ahead and all, a lot of people can go ahead and if there are a lot of people who are working on the single flow, they can go ahead and verify for the test by using this beta feature call as a test flows. So this is what we have for today's sessions. I hope you were able to understand this beta, this uh, new concept called as test flows. Until we come up with our next video sessions, please do take care of yourself. Signing off yours, Namrata Kariyana. Bye-bye.